Hey everyone, this is Doug with BNH, and today we're taking a look at Antelope's newest audio interface, the Discrete 8 Pro Synergy Core. This rack mount audio interface offers premium sound quality and plentiful connectivity that's ideal for recording engineers, bands, studio owners, or anyone looking to route a wide array of audio sources through a single device to their DAW. With a whopping 26 total inputs and 32 outputs, eight discrete preamps, Thunderbolt 3 and USB 2.0 connections, digital expandability over SPDIF and ADAT IO, and an included collection of 37 Synergy Core effects modeled after classic and rare outboard gear, the 8 Pro is a seriously capable tool for professionals looking to complete their studio rack setup. The Discrete 8 Pro Synergy Core serves as an update to Antelope's previous Discrete 8 Synergy Core, offering greater dynamic range, less harmonic distortion, double the channel strips for effects processing, and Thunderbolt 3 connectivity instead of the Thunderbolt 2 on the previous model. Beyond that, however, you're getting all of the same I.O. ports as that previous version, and there are a lot of them. On the analog input side, the Discrete 8 Pro includes eight XLR quarter-inch combo inputs for mic and line sources, each with individually selectable 48 volt phantom power, six on the back and two more on the front that offer a selectable high Z input setting for guitar players. A level knob for each input is on the front panel, allowing you to quickly dial in up to 65 dB of clean gain without having to go through pages of menus while the Discrete 8's updated converters provide up to 130 decibels of headroom for your recordings and can support sample rates up to 192 kilohertz at 24-bit resolutions. For outputs, a DC-coupled DB25 connector provides eight lineouts. Also on the back panel is a pair of quarter-inch monitor outputs and a pair of quarter-inch reamp outputs that allow you to process your sound with effect pedals and outboard gear, and then record it back into your DAW. Alternatively, these can be repurposed to function as an additional pair of monitor outputs. Two independent headphone jacks with individual volume controls are conveniently located on the front panel. On the digital side, you're getting two Toslink optical ADAT inputs and two outputs, a SPDIF input and output, and four word clock ports, one input and three outputs allowing you to leverage the 8 Pro's updated and highly stable 64-bit AFC clock to keep all your connected devices in sync. Additionally, you're getting Thunderbolt 3 and USB 2.0 for connections to your host PC or Mac, a quarter-inch TS foot switch input, an AC power port, and a color display with metering. All of this is packed into a one RU rack mount chassis that's ready to be the centerpiece of your studio. In addition to its ability to interface with a wide array of mics, instruments, and digital sources, the Discrete 8 Pro also includes access to Antelope's Synergy Core software platform. This gives you access to hardware-based, analog-modeled outboard recreations that run on a hybrid system of one FPGA and two DSP chips, meaning that all of the effects processing is handled on the interface itself, so it doesn't impact your host computer's CPU and memory. The 8 Pro actually comes preloaded with 37 effects right out of the gate, like a noise gate, that are processed in real time with imperceptible latency. This means you can record your guitar and other instruments using Synergy Core processing in real time, while you play without incurring any timing issues. You can load effects on up to 16 channel strips, twice as many as the original Discrete 8, and you can process signal sources on any of the analog and digital inputs and outputs via the unit's extensive routing matrix. And if that's not enough, there's also over 60 additional effects available via software on Antelope's website. Beyond the impressive I.O. and included effects, Antelope packed some thoughtful workflow-enhancing features into the Discrete 8 Pro Synergy Core that you might not expect from a rack mount audio interface. For starters, you can use the 8 Pro in standalone mode without a computer if you choose. And on the opposite side of the spectrum, you can also wirelessly control software features from a separate computer, as long as it's also sharing a network with the computer that the 8 Pro is plugged into. And to top it all off, you can even get easily accessible front panel talkback with a built-in microphone. So here we are, I've got the Discrete 8 Pro Synergy Core connected to this slightly older MacBook Pro, uh, which is why we're actually using USB in this case instead of Thunderbolt. You do have that option, of course. Uh, now, right out of the gate, I can hear it here. This is a Rode NTK uh, valve condenser microphone. It sounds fantastic going through the preamps here. I have not that much gain applied, actually. It's about 20 dB right here. And I'm keeping it low because uh, I want to be able to catch all the dynamics possible. I can really speak very loudly into this thing, and it handles it just perfectly. <laughs> I have reverb on through here, and it sounds 
amazing. I'm echoing. But I can crank this, you know, all the way up. And I'm looking at the meters here just to make sure I'm not overmodulating. Uh, I've got it here right now at like 38 decibels. I'm just starting to touch that really crispy side here, hitting about six on the uh, negative six on the meters. So still good, not clipping. If I were to yell, yeah, it would probably clip at that point. So I'm going to back it down. And you can crack these all the way up, 65 decibels on each pre, which is great if you have a microphone that is very low sensitivity, something like an SM7B, for example, which famously requires a lot of gain. You can get very good clean gain out of this. I mean, I'm hearing nothing out of the cans right now. So right now I have AuraVerb, as they've called it, feeding straight into the monitors here, not into the recording on the input track. So there's so many effects in here, but I'm the kind of person who does like to record everything raw so that I can apply that later and not necessarily commit to it. But if you're, you know, out live doing a live recording, or if you have um, a lot of different microphones involved and you're trying to kind of simplify the post process, you could give them all different treatments as they record in and, you know, simplify the whole setup. One of the key things about the Discrete 8 is that it pitches itself as kind of the centerpiece of your rack mount console. And if you are, you know, a producer at home who's really trying to build out that that kit, but you can't quite afford all of the outboard gear, you can get a great amount of that same flexibility in here. So you can set up that EQ, you can set up the compressor all on the input chain. And, you know, the results should be good. So I'm going to actually give some of those a test and see how they sound. So I want to demo for you some of the effects that I've chained here. Now you can create an entire you know, virtual rack mount of all of your effects, your EQs, your compressors, your gates, things like that. So right here, I've got three of them lined up. They're bypassed at the moment. So I'm going to start with the VEQ1A, which is a very simple, here we go, very simple uh, equalizer. You know, if you're familiar with audio gear, this probably looks and sounds very familiar to you. This is the VEQ1A. So right here, I've already taken out some of the bass on the low end. I've attenuated some of the high end going at the 20k range and I've boosted just a little bit at the 4k range. So just trying to shave off some of that low and high end and also boost the mids. And then down below, let's enable this. This is the FET A76. This is a compressor obviously modeled after the 1176. Uh, now I've set this one up already. I've given it uh, a pretty gentle approach here. You can see the meters are not moving that much. They're only occasionally spiking as I really, you know, uh, overemphasize things or shout, for example. Uh, and this is all very, very fast attack, fast release. Um, again, just kind of catching those really high peaks, not doing too much compression uh, apart from the initial attack. So then let's add in one more compressor just to level things out. This is the VCA 160. I'll be treating this kind of as a leveling compressor. I don't have control over attack or release here. I do have control over threshold compression and of course output gain. So I'm not doing too much with this. Uh, this is probably hitting, I would say, about 5 dB of reduction uh, at a 2 to 1 ratio. So I'm not trying to really do too much with this except for give it just a little bit more of a leveling out. And you can hear it. I can hear it here. I can hear the rustling of my clothes. So it's clearly elevating everything with these two compression stages. But this is great if you, you know, have a situation where you want to move around the mic a little bit more and go just a bit off axis. If you're recording for podcasts, voiceover, radio, if you need that big, booming, present, consistent voice, this is kind of the approach I would take at least. So it sounds fantastic. Uh, and most of all, it is basically zero latency, which is incredible. The Discrete 8 Pro Synergy Core offers the sheer I.O. connectivity you'd expect from a professional rack mount audio interface, along with some compelling additional features you might not. With 26 inputs, 32 outputs, and 37 included real-time effects, right out of the box, you have an incredibly capable audio interface. But with the inclusion of Thunderbolt 3 connectivity, eight discrete mic preamps, class-leading converters, and access to Antelope's large and ever-growing Synergy Core FX platform, you also have a solid audio foundation that will be able to grow and expand along with your needs as an audio professional. But what do you think of the Discrete 8 Pro Synergy Core audio interface? Let us know in the comments below. I'm Doug with b and and I'll see you next time.